What do you think of National scrapping your plan to scrap the $5 fee? Oh, look, I think they're completely out of touch here with what New Zealanders are looking for. As I noted in there, this is a policy that's not only good for New Zealanders in terms of easing the cost of living, it's actually a really important policy for broader health care. And the Otago University study that we based a lot of our decision making on here indicates that there's a significant cost where people don't pick up their prescriptions and end up back in the health system, either at ED or needing to stay overnight. So we believe it's the right policy, but I also just think it shows how out of touch they are. Can I ask you about the National Resilience Plan as well? Can you just talk about whether that's exclusively for cyclone hit regions and talk about what that will be used? Yeah, so in the first instance, our main focus will be on building back better from the cyclones and the floods. There's an awful lot of work to do there, not just in roads and rail, but also in, in other infrastructure areas like water and uh, electricity transmission, and also the local rebuild as well. Over time, we also want to see it used to help close our infrastructure deficit. So we already invest a lot of money in infrastructure, but I want us to go beyond business as usual with a particular focus on climate resilience. So certainly in the first few years, first couple of years at least, it'll be mainly those impacted areas. Minister, is there any consideration in the budget to drive inflation down so the spending doesn't well, as I said on the stage up there just now, um, we thought very hard about the kind of investments we were making to ensure that they didn't exacerbate inflation. When Treasury make their assessments, they understand that. There's also the profile of the spending. How quickly do we spend something? How far is it spread out across the four-year period? So we thought about all of those things and also the quantum of what we were doing in order to make sure that it didn't unnecessarily exacerbate inflation. The cost of living is affecting everybody, including those on the and with our kids. What will you do for that growth ahead of the election? Well, obviously election policies will be announced when they are announced, but um, as has been noted by everybody, we have to strike a balance here. Um, we've done a number of large-scale supports for cost of living, for example, the cost of living payment last year. Uh, this is the right time, in my view, for more targeted uh, approaches. When we get to the election, we'll have election policies. Will have oh, we'll have to wait. Is, last is, question, last question. Just because it's a tax relief, do you plan on giving any tax relief ahead of the election? Ahead of the election, no, but uh, this is you know, going to be a topic in the election campaign, I have no doubt. I'll let Thomas have one. Well, ASB, ANZ and BNZ have all hiked their, um, their OCR um, predictions to forecast uh, 5.75. What do you think of that? Well, as I say, and I've said in earlier interviews today, uh, what we've done in this budget should not be the cause of that when you look at particularly the way in which Treasury have assessed the impact of it. There are a lot of other factors that the Monetary Policy Committee of the Reserve Bank have to bear in mind beyond what is in the government's budget. You know it is not my practice to comment on that decision making, but I know that when we put this budget together we thought very carefully about inflation and tried to do things that wouldn't unnecessarily exacerbate it. So. That's actually, a not, actually not a matter for me, that'll be a matter for the leader of the Labour Party, but clearly well in advance of the election. <laughs> well, I've already, I'm always happy to answer that question um, because uh, you know I note that the National Party are saying that they will announce their fiscal plan at the pre-election fiscal update. When we were in opposition, we announced a plan earlier than that and then updated it after the pre-foo. So um, that would be what I think uh, they should do, but we will certainly uh, be out there in plenty of time. Got to run. Sorry. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.